This is the Huawei MateBook D16, which has just been launched in Malaysia. If you want to get a relatively affordable 16-inch productivity laptop, then keep on watching this review of the D16. It could very well be your next laptop. First up, prices. The base model of the MateBook D16 comes with 8GB of RAM, 512GB of storage, and an Intel Core i5 12450H 12th Gen processor. This particular configuration goes for 3699 ringgit. If you want more RAM, you just have to add 300 ringgit to get 16GB of RAM while the other specifications are unchanged. One more power, then go for the higher-end Core i7 12700H model for 4,799 ringgit. The rest of the specs are still the same at 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigabyte of internal storage. Now let's talk about features of the D16 that I like, starting with its wide and big 16-inch 16 by 10 Full HD display. Yes, a 16-inch display with only a Full HD resolution may not sound particularly impressive, but it's actually not that bad. Colors are vibrant, viewing angles are good, brightness also gets quite high, and there is really no noticeable pixelation, which is the most important thing for such a big display. I also appreciate the fact that this is a 16x10 display, so you get more vertical space compared to a more conventional 16x9 panel. Performance is also one of the D16 strong points. This particular model that we're reviewing comes with a Core i7 12700H processor, and this 14 core processor is fast. Not video editing fast or gaming fast, but it just feels responsive and ZP in my daily tasks. This is, after all, a productivity laptop, so obviously, I'm using it to do some work, light photo editing with some video editing, nothing too heavy. Yes, you can do heavier workloads as well as play some games, but that's not what this laptop is made for, so you do have to keep those expectations in line. Speaking of which, yes, you can do some gaming on this, but it only has an integrated Intel Iris Xe GPU, at least for the Core i7 model. You won't have any issues running games like Diablo 3 or Diablo Immortal if that's what you want to play, but if you want to play heavier games like Fortnite, you may need to lower down the graphic settings to get playable frame rate. Another feature of the D16 that I really quite like is its overall aesthetic. Just look at how minimal the bezels are on this machine. It looks properly modern and it will not look out of place at all in a professional setting like your office. The build quality of the D16 is really quite good as well. There's no noticeable creaking as I apply pressure to the chassis and the screen flex is... There is some flex but I mean, it does not feel fragile by any means and that's important for, again, a productivity laptop as you'll be going around carrying this machine. Not that you should because this is still a 16-inch laptop and it's quite big and it's not very heavy at 1.7 kilogram, but you'll definitely feel the weight of this laptop in your backpack. So the MateBook D16 is quite a good-looking laptop with fast performance and a good-looking display. What are some of the negatives of this machine? Well, for one, I don't like its keyboard. The travel is a little bit shallow, but that's not the worst part about this keyboard. The worst thing is its layout, because Huawei for some reason decided it would be a good idea to squeeze in a numpad on the right side of the keyboard. As a result, the whole keyboard is shifted to the left and it's a little bit jarring to get used to it. Because of this, the backspace is also shorter than usual and as a result, I find myself constantly hitting the numlock key instead of the backspace key. Yes, I did eventually get used to this odd layout, but as far as keyboard quality goes, this is not the best. Not the worst, but not the best. On the bright side, at least the trackpad is accurate. I would have loved for it to be a little bit bigger for a more pleasant user experience, but you get what you get. Connectivity options of the D16 are quite good as well. You get two USB-A ports on the right side, two USB-C ports on the left side, an HDMI output, and an audio jack. But if you want to use a card reader, this doesn't have a micro SD card slot or an SD card slot, so it needs a little bit of improvement in that regard. Input devices are important for a productivity laptop, but what's even more important is battery life, and unfortunately, the D16 isn't that fantastic in this regard. 
On average, I managed to get 6 hours of use out of this laptop before it's completely out of juice. That's not horrible per se, but if you want all day battery life, this laptop may struggle to give you that depending on your usage. To get this level of battery life, I set the power plant to battery saver and I dim the display where it's comfortable but not too bright. And it's a fair assessment of how I would use a laptop if I want to maximize its battery life. So you may get less than 6 hours if you want it to be in full blown power. So keep that in mind. But overall, from only 3,699 ringgit, these shortcomings can be overlooked in my opinion. Yes, it's not the most affordable 16-inch laptop in the market, but it is handsome, it has a good-looking display, and I'm not a big fan of the keyboard, but at least you have a numpad for folks that really need a numpad. I know it can be important to some people, though I myself don't need it at all. I guess my only real complaint is the fact that the base model only comes with 8 gigs of RAM and you need to pay 300 ringgit more to get 16 gigs of RAM which is honestly the more practical option. So if you're thinking of getting the D16, consider paying the 300 ringgit extra to get more RAM which is something that you may need down the line and you never know. And that is our review of the Huawei MateBook D16. It is available for pre-order in Malaysia right now, so if it is a laptop that you think is suitable for you, then check it out. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and always stay tuned for more good stuff to come here on this channel and nextshift.com.